Hey guys, so I'm here with my February favorite. Um, it's been a minute since I filmed a video because I really, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you know I really hated my hair when I dyed it. I just, oh my gosh, I could hardly look at myself. It was scary. It was so dark and I just, I hated it so much. My kids are up, so you're definitely going to be hearing them in the background because they're screaming like crazy. But I wanted to get this video up because I haven't filmed in so long and I'm about to take a shower and, you know, I can't film after that. So I wanted to get this up. So, yeah, I'm sorry if they're annoying, but they're up and they're being crazy. So anyway, when I, I dyed my hair, I hated it. It was dull. It just didn't make me look, it didn't brighten my face at all, obviously, and I just didn't like it. I, I like a little bit of brightness so I went yesterday and got a full highlight and it's just the beginning so you can see where they are it's just the beginning of a few more highlights I'm gonna get maybe uh, two more sets of highlights just partial and then I should be okay good. so favorite foundation of the month is still my Revlon color stay whipped cream makeup in 370 natural tan still loving this almost done with my second jar and I will be working on my third, and I still love it just as much as I did the first day I ever bought it. So, love that. Just wanted to give a quick shout out. And then for my bronzer, I have been loving, obviously, my Hoola Benefit. I've hit pan. So, I was trying not to use this as much because I'm almost out of it. <clears throat> so, I picked up the Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder in number one, Golden Light. This way. Um... I've had this for like a year, but I never wear it. I don't know why. It just, I don't know why I never wore it. But here it is. I think because I thought it might be too dark, but really it's actually, or actually I thought maybe it was a little too red, but it actually blends with my skin really well and looks really nice. I'm wearing it, no, I'm not wearing it today, um, but I have been wearing it a lot to contour because I've been working on my contouring. I haven't perfected it yet, but I'm working on it. So yeah, I've been loving that bronzer. For my eyes, I've been loving the Naked Basics palette. Um, I'm actually wearing it today. And let's see. The colors that I really love a lot are um, WOS, Naked 2, Faint, and Venus. I've been wearing those a ton. Like right now, I have Naked 2 all over my lid, all the way up to my brow bone. Um, I have Venus just a little bit um, below my brow for a highlight and then I have uh, let's see faint right in the crease lightly with a fluffy brush and then I have crave as eyeliner on my top and bottom so I've been loving that nice and quick and really natural looking so ow my foot's falling asleep okay for my mascara I'm gonna adjust this a little bit. For my mascara, I I'm not I don't layer like five million mascaras. I just usually do one to two just because I don't really have time to put five mascaras on my eyelashes. Plus, like that's a lot of mascara. It's I'm afraid my eyelashes are gonna fall out. Anyway, so I, the first one I use is the Jordana Best Lash Extreme, which I get at Walgreens. It's $2.99 and it's awesome and it's great for volumizing. So here is what it looks like. Love that. And then right after this, I put on the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara. And here is the wand. Really nice wand. Perfect for separating the lashes. So I have been loving these two together. Perfect combo for me. Okay, so for blush, I only have one surprisingly. But it is the Milani Baked Blush in Berry Amore number 3. This is so pretty. I've just been obsessed with it, wearing it like every day. Here is a swatch right here. Isn't that gorgeous? If you don't like sparkle, you probably won't like this because you can see it's pretty, pretty sparkly, but, or shimmery. I don't know, sparkle, shimmer. I like sparkle. Uh, you might not like this, but I just love it. I think it's gorgeous and it adds such a nice glow to my face. So I've been loving that and it's very pigmented too. I'm going to be picking up more of those soon. All right, let's see. I got to separate all these lip products because I am a lip freak. Okay, for another eyeshadow trio that I've been loving that's quick, natural, looks, I always think it looks so good, especially, especially with really black winged eyeliner. Um, it's the NYX Trio in Barefoot in the Sand, number seven. 
and it looks like this. They're just like light taupey browns, kind of look purple-ish, but here they are. They're so pigmented, and I just love them. So let me see if I can swatch them here. One. Alright, these are like funky swatches, but <laughs> you get the idea. Okay, so right here, right here, and here. This one, I'll just show you here. This one I have been wearing all over my lid. This one in the crease and this in the highlight, and it's just quick, easy, and it looks really good. And then I just add some wing liner, so I've been loving that. Those are, you can tell those are so soft and pigmented. A little bit of fallout, but nothing that's like annoying or anything. <laughs> so, next is my MAC Shadow in Brown Script. I've been loving this. It's a brown, but you can tell it's got a really red undertone. It's just really gorgeous. Makes my eyes pop, and I love it. So, look how freaking... That's crazy pigmented. That's, wow. That's insane. But it's awesome. Like, I love this shadow so much. And you know I love saddle, but I'm not going to bring saddle out here because I already talked about it way too much. So, yeah, I love that. For concealer, I've been loving the Dream Lumi Touche Concealer by Maybelline. Here it is. It's awesome. Like, I'll swatch it. It's really great for brightening the under eye and also concealing because it's really nice and thick. So it's super thick and brightening, just really pretty for under the eye. And I'm in the color Nude Chair. So you can see... I'm almost out of it. Love that. Okay, <laughs> last are my lip products. I have seven here that I've been loving. The first one, I'm giving a quick shout out because you've heard about it a million times, but I have to shout it out because I finished it just about. So this is my Buxom Big and Healthy Lipstick in Sydney right here. Here it is. And I'm really sad. I gotta buy another one. I can't believe I go through these like crazy because they're so easy to just put on because you don't have to put a gloss on. So if I'm looking through my purse, like what am I going to wear? Because I always have like 10 options. I always pull this one out because it's just easy. So yeah, I'm almost out of that one again. Well, I basically am out of it. Okay, so I've been loving this flower lip gloss in Baby's Breath. Love it. And it is, it's called Baby's Breath, but it's also L- what is this? LG2. So this is just a really pretty baby pink I showed you guys in my haul. There it is right there. Super pretty. Love it. Looks good over every nude pink lipstick. Every nude lipstick just looks pretty in everything. Same with this one. This is a NYX Butter Gloss in Eclair. Is that upside down? There we go. In Eclair. Gorgeous. I'm wearing it right now. Feels amazing. Not it's these are both not sticky at all. They're just the perfect formula. It's so creamy. Here is Eclair right here. Oh my gosh, I'm wearing it right now. It's so pretty. Just I can't say enough good things about this. I love that gloss. And I think those are like only $4.99 at Salta. Okay, next. Um this Stila color balm lipstick in Olivia. Here is what it looks like. It's just a nude um, lipstick. Smells like a balm. It actually smells like mints, like peppermints or something, but it's so pigmented and so beautiful. Um, I love this. This is also a really good color that you can just throw on. You don't have to put gloss over top of it or anything like that, and it just looks good. You don't even have to look in the mirror. You know what I mean? So I love those. And then last are my color whispers. I have three of them here. Um, I haven't really worn Petal Rebel yet, but um, I just wanted to bring them out because in general, these are amazing. Like the formulas are just awesome. But the two I've been wearing a lot are Bare to Be Bold, which looks like this. It's just a nude color. It just makes my lips like a muted, you know, just makes my lips look better. <laughs> There it is right there. And then my first one that I ever got that I'm obsessed with, and it's Lust for Blush. And it just looks like this. And I love this color so much. 
And this one's more pigmented. Here it is right here. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my God, I'm obsessed. That's a gorgeous color. So these are so glossy. They don't feel sticky. They just feel nice and smooth and oh my gosh, they're just awesome. So I love these, highly recommend those. Those I've been loving those all month. Um, and I want to get more colors. Let me know if, of any more colors that you think I should get. Someone said I should get Mocha Muse, I think. So I'm going to pick that one up. But if you know any more, let me know. Okay, last thing are nail polishes. The first one is by L'Oreal. It's called Orange You Jealous. And a lot of people asked me what I was wearing in my last video. And this is what I was wearing. So I love this color. It's so pretty. It's going to be gorgeous for summer. So I cannot wait to wear that more in the summertime. And then this is what I have on my nails right now. It's called Mod About You. And it was from the OPI, like, some kind of brights collection. I don't know. But um, here it is. It's so pretty. Again, it'll be so pretty for summer. So loving that. And here's the, the thing. And I actually got this off of... Amazon so I hope you guys dollars. enjoyed my favorites and let me know down below what your favorites have been leave a video response anything and I'll talk to you guys soon bye